Chapter Seventy of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Women of History by Anonymous. Chapter Seventy. Letitia Barbald, born 1743, died 1825. Johnstone the only daughter of dr john aiken a dissenting minister her youth was spent in entire seclusion and her education was entirely domestic at two years of age it is stated on the authority of her mother she could read with tolerable ease and at two years and a half as well as most women it is at least certain that from the instructions of her father miss aiken acquired a competent knowledge of latin and that she was not indebted for even a single lesson either to professional female tuition or to the teachers of the fashionable accomplishments considered so important in forming the minds and manners of young ladies dr aiken became a teacher at the dissenting academy in warrington in lancashire when his daughter was about fifteen this seminary enjoyed high celebrity the teachers were all men of distinguished talents dr priestley and dr enfield were of their number in such a society the genius of miss aiken was fostered and animated and her poems published in seventeen seventy three rose into immediate popularity verse had the quality of comparative rarity in those days and a female poet had a clear and unoccupied field in seventeen forty four miss aiken married rochamont barbauld a young gentleman who having been sent to warrington for instruction previous to entering the church imbibed with a passion for her the tenets of the sect to which her family belonged mr barbauld obtained the charge of a congregation in suffolk and at palgrave opened a seminary for the instruction of youth the acquirements and habits of mrs barbauld eminently qualified her to be the coadjutor of her husband in this undertaking and she afterwards received pupils of a very tender age as her peculiar charge of this number were mr denman the barrister and sir william gell having no child of her own she adopted the infant of her brother dr aiken and for his use and that of her infant class were composed those early lessons and hymns in prose which confirmed her literary reputation after a long interval mrs barbauld resumed her pen and published a selection of papers from the classic essayists with a life of richardson and a selection from his correspondence in eighteen o eight she lost her husband who had for a long time suffered under that mental affliction which makes death a welcome release after this event she published a selection of the british novelists and then her poem eighteen hundred and eleven a production far more ambitious though much less successful than her early and quieter performances its tone is that of gloomy prediction its spirit desponding and altogether infelicitous that was no palliation for the virulence of party feeling by which this useful and elegant author now venerable even for years was assailed by certain periodical writers she never again appeared before the public she died at the age of eighty-two entitled to the veneration and gratitude of every one who has a child to train for this life and for a higher state of existence end of chapter seventy recording by linda fredericks modesto california august two thousand twelve